Hi guys, let me got Christy for another video. Um, a few weeks ago, I actually released a uh, videos on how to edit uh, your videos using a mobile phone. Now, some guy reacted and said that he already had a Power Director app, so what's the point of uh, watching the video? Well, genius, uh, thank you for watching, but the target audience of uh, the video was for the newbies. And uh, secondly, even if you do have a Power Director app, if you don't know how to use it, it's useless. I mean, your videos will not edit themselves, right? So I asked the genius if he wanted a tutorial. Unfortunately, uh, he's not replying. So, I will make a tutorial to help those who really want to improve their craft. But first things first, the Power Director app has already a built-in tutorials, uh, so I, I'm asking you to check it out as well. It's actually very straightforward. You don't have to be a rocket scientist to figure it out. But um, I'll give you some tips on how to edit your videos. As discussed in my previous videos, both the Power Director and the kind uh, app is actually very good but since i've started with the power director and been uh, very familiar with it i st stuck with it and this will be uh, my tutorial there are three major parts of uh, the power director once you um, apply the the app you have the base film the visual overlay and the audio overlay the base film is the main film on which you will serve as your canvas. It's the main film that which in which you will be applying effects on it, either visual or audio. To apply or edit the base film, all you need to do is click on the base film and then click on the pencil icon. A menu will pop up on the top left right of the screen. You can either speed up the base film to either slow motion or fast motion. You can rotate it. Uh, you could also uh, change the color. To uh, have like a uh, time effect, like an old film effect. You can also flip crop and duplicate the 
that uh, particular film and also uh, reverse it. Although the sound for the reverse uh, reversing film, you need to uh, add that to the overlay. You could also clip your um, base film in case you wanna insert a video clip in uh, in between the the film. Just click the the base film and um, the the um, stop icon. The blue vertical line will indicate where the video will be clipped. Take advantage also of the transition uh, effects. The in transition effects menu will pop up once you click the the icon for the transition, which is a, a clip with the lightning. And then um, there are a couple of uh, transition effects you can choose from. My commonly used transitions are the bird effect, in which it will signal a change in environment, change in time. The video reel is um, uh, an effect I use when it, it indicates that there will be a um, one video clip followed by the other. And the burning uh, transition is used for uh, dramatic change in uh, video clip or change in uh, story. Familiarize yourself with the different uh, transitions so that you will impart the, the appropriate uh, mood you want to instill in the, in the video. Visual Overlay there's actually two layers for visual overlay. The first layer could be used for photo, text, and video. The second layer is for photos and um, text only. To activate the visual overlay, all you need to do is click on on the upper left uh, corner there's a, uh, a layered icon click that on and then choose whether or not to, uh, to add text photo or video in adding text after you um, select the, the text icon there's actually a, a lot of uh, selections for uh, text effects be familiar with that since uh, They'll actually impart additional mood to your uh, film. You could also select the color of the text, the format, the alignment, as well as um, the, the borders. In selecting videos or photos, it will actually open up uh, all the folders in your uh, cell phone uh, in which your videos or photos are housed so you can select which one to use this can be very useful in inserting uh, text for tutorials for games and etc for inserting photos and videos instead of uh, clipping your base film you just have to superimpose the photos or videos furthermore uh, for the the second layer uh, the first or the second layer you can use it for a chrome key it's like the green uh, green screen it's actually very easy to use you just you just press the uh, base film once the edit menu comes up to le select the chrome key and once uh, chrome key the chrome edit menu comes up 
select the chrome key and uh, drag the chrome key to uh, the color that will be removed and uh, click it again and uh, voila okay. it is done <laughs> Audio overlay. As I've said a while ago, there's two layers for audio overlay. My preference is I use the layer one for uh, voiceovers and the layer two for background sounds. This is to avoid the um, background sounds to overpower. Uh, the the voiceovers and the sound of the game itself, as uh, previously noted to me by one, one of uh, my subscribers, I always set the um, set uh, the audio settings for layer two as uh, for thirty five percent or lower, so that you will not be uh, overpowering. In using the um, audio overlay, all you need to do is to click on the film music icon and then if you are adding a uh, background sound or a uh, music, just select that from the folder from which you uh, have it hidden. If you're adding a voiceover, again select uh, the music and the film icon and then select the microphone and it will ask you which layer you'll be using. So that's it guys so i hope uh, this tutorial helps comment below if i've uh, left out something uh, else if you need help on other features of the power director if you have any requests for tutorials games or any uh, topic like and subscribe on my youtube channel again this is demigod christy always do have a good one bye now